Welcome Leos. This is going to be your reading. Let's see what's coming through for this time. I uh, wonder what is happening for you. We got a couple of different things. I got a card flipped over. It was the two of pentacles with the hermit. I feel like you are needing to choose. Oh my God. Shocker from your heart. <laughs> Leo, a lot of, lot of stuff happening. This season is a little chaotic. So please be certain in your heart space that it is what you want to do. Uh, be very clear too. I feel like there's a path that's being revealed and I feel like you are making some big decisions on which direction to go and it is exciting okay just don't forget to do the one that excites you the most don't forget to do the one that leads you but more importantly you're a light to so many people so make sure that whatever path you're embarking on um like i said like it's a big decision but it's don't take it lightly like i know you don't but it's you're gonna win you're going to be chosen if there's a if there's something that's being chosen between two people they're choosing you okay virgo energy here too so this could be in business this could be in finances this can also be in opportunities uh you may be traveling as well here maybe you're choosing where to go for a trip and that's a beautiful energy to be in uh that's also a friendly reminder mercury retrograde though could be delays could be technical issues so please do always check your communications and again tempers leo you don't know anything about that but also fixed energy right so this is going to be also hitting you a little different you may be feeling extra fatigued extra tired everybody right that mars energy in retrograde is also a time for us to simmer back but while you're in that space right we're not as energetic but we may be more in our head and because we're more in our head we're quicker to snap so just be careful with communication here too um like i said i'm not i'm not seeing like an unexpected visitor but i feel like you might have people that don't want you to go don't want you to do this whatever this is and i feel like if this is um more like not that they're intervening but it's sort of like someone is going to offer unwanted advice or give you unwanted something. <laughs> if, if, if I didn't know better, I'd be like, they're sending you stuff you don't want, okay? But there is some kind of reconciliation or some kind of joy that's coming from this too. And I feel like there's also an offer that you know is aligning with you if we're focusing on the energy here that it's you taking action on something. Once you make your choice, your heart is so in it. Like this is in alignment with you. That's why I'm also saying this so you know which one to choose. I feel like the one that feels the biggest, the one that feels like you're gonna grow the most and this is also a huge part like these are us stepping out of our comfort zones this is one of the most profound shifts which is so appropriate at the end of the year but it is major and in Sagittarius season we just had so much illumination and clarity we have a lot of things that that we were maybe fantasizing like yes you need to fantasize so that you can dream yes you need to fantasize so that you can plan like this is if you're manifesting you have to fantasize okay it's just learning how to do it in a way that is appropriate to getting you to where you want to go and when you're in that hermit energy, it's about reflecting. Some of you can have very strong Virgo placements too, but this could be a job relocation. Um, this can also be something that may also be bringing you back. Okay, so if you were away for work, you're coming back. Let's see what's coming. Some of you could have been away, like off of work for a while. Ooh, could, okay. Transformation energy, Scorpio energy, um, endings and new beginnings. This is like exactly what it is. So like I said, could be apologies coming forward or could be you walking away from situations and just taking your cup of love elsewhere, having the confidence and courage to embark out into the unknown. But this full moon is going to be a little emotional for all of us. I, a little is an, under, an understatement. I just went through it a couple days ago because I, I either experienced the full moons before the full moon or after the full moon. And I know I hate hit me before so that I can be here for you. I'm telling you right now, it is going to be intense. And I want you to know that if I can do it, you can do it too. And at the same time, you are in such a powerful place to have one of the biggest 
transformations and shifts of your life. So if I told you that everything you wanted is on the other side of this, all you got to do is get through it, okay? You need to push through. You need to break through. You need to do whatever it is you need to do. Armor up. Cavalry, armor up. And wear that armor of God. I'm going to have I have my little shield right here. So having the armor and being ready to face whatever this is, like no weapon formed against you. I don't know why. Some of you may be thinking that you are being relocated as if, as if it's a bad thing or that other people are involved and I'm not sure why I'm getting this so I feel like there's just personal stuff in this but no there's healing there's love there's so much space in that that is bringing you this beautiful abundance and for whatever reason could be justice okay karma of course karmic cycles sagittarius rules saturn saturn is karma so we had a lot of clarity we had a lot of restoration here it could also be payments and restorations some of you may be getting money from a past situation it could be child support here too with children um others of you are also getting a brand new start that's leading you to a brand new beginning a whole new a whole new world is literally opening up to you and aladdin could be significant as well but uh but we have there's very magical energy, which is very interesting. It's like you've always got one leg up on everything and take that how it resonates. But there is just this need for you to know that like you are mid step, like you are already in motion. So Leo, just go through what it is, heal your heart, pay close attention. I feel like your anxiety is going to be like intense. You may be feeling like you're so focus on breathing, focus on centering, get some meditations, whatever you need, because you are going to be so sensitive through this. And it's only because there is so much energy. But in that chaos is where you're kind of, um, yeah, a lot of the, this, everybody's been getting this. So sleepless nights, I feel like you're starting, you're kind of feeling like you're, you're, you know, when you don't sleep and you're, you're like shaking and, and that's that, that like, I just need rest. I need all this stuff. So there's so much that's happening in this time right now, but it's also because you are so excited. You have all this extra energy because you're supposed to do something with it. So please be cautious on putting it into where it needs to be. And, um, oof. So again, focusing on that. And again, yes, your health could be here as well too. So please prioritize that. And some of you do need to start getting physically active. Some of you do need to also be careful how you're communicating and what you're saying because you may be also taking things to heart, but you are moving forward. And again, cancer energy here too could be a cancer cusper, but you are moving into this new duality that's coming through. Someone could be, of course, very, um, you may be dealing with an ex, Ah, okay. I actually know who this is for. You are um, in a situation where perhaps people are moving in different directions or you're splitting or some people are being split across areas, but there is this element where you are not letting certain things go. So again, if this is legally involved, then please make sure that that's happening. But this can be an ex. This could be like a ex-wife, ex-husband, ex-energy. But this is also just someone who is very cold, very bitter even. Okay. So again, wheel of fate is here. Wheel of fortune is changing things. There's a lot of healing. Temperance as well is leading to a brand new cycle. Major shifts here in awareness. Yeah. Like look, everyone is getting this. Like you're leveling up. You can't take things with you. Um, separations, a lot of Piscean energy. So I feel like there's a lot of delays. There's a lot of hardship. I feel like you're needing to really see things from a different perspective. And I think that that's sort of what is going to help you. And perhaps too, your anger right now, Mars being in retrograde, I feel like you're also recognizing a lot of situations from before that is just pissing you off now. I'm sorry, but even in my own healing, there are things that I'm like, what was I thinking? Okay, so this could be part of it, right? Because you're like, oh my God, no, I'm grabbing everything and I'm walking off. Okay, so there is just so much that you are either collecting your stuff and moving out of dodge whatever this is some of you are also just not able to continue with how things are in that dynamic but there is energy there is peace there is balance there is um libra energy here too justice is being served especially for a child Ooh. yes i'll leave it there i'll leave it there but things are working out for your favor. So just know 
that even if it's your energy, even if it's just how you're feeling right now, even if it's just your thought process, healing is coming, star card coming through here too. But you are stepping into this new place and it's also a combination of what you will and will not tolerate. So please know that you're in charge and stop giving your power away and more importantly, be prepared to lead, but you have to lead from a place that is in alignment. And I feel like you've been doing things or being in places that don't serve you, Leo. So stop it and do what you can to make things move forward in a better way. And at the same time, that is going to remove what is siphoning all the energy from you because that exhaustion, that, that painful place that you've been in is going to go away when you are able to have that energy for other things. Okay. Leo, God bless you. Stay safe, stay strong, and please do something so that you get your mind off of the frustration. So find a way to exert that energy in a fun, active way, or just in a healthy, productive way. Use it as fuel. Don't add to the fire. I <laughs> love you. God bless. We'll see you really 